how Jacob Bernoulli proved them. So this person, mathematician Jacob Bernoulli, was really good and interested in solving infinite series. And these are some um, typical kinds of series which can be easily validated through differentiations, integral, integrations of other sums. Uh, let's see how he uh, approached these sums and proved them. Okay, so now to prove, let me start with this one and then second, third, fourth, right? So okay, so these kind of sums uh, can actually be derived from the other sums by differentiating them. So let me show you. Let's say we have this sum. Sum from k equals to one to infinity, or uh, x to the power k by two to the power k. If we know this sum and if we different, if we let's say if we have a result for this sum. Then you can differentiate both sides with respect to x to get k times x to the power k minus 1, right? And if we substitute x as 1, we just get this required sum. So that's how we will be approaching this problem. Yeah. Okay, now let me show you how to solve this sum. This is the sum from k equals to 1 to infinity x by 2 to the power k, right? Now, notice that if the modulus of x by 2 that I mean the magnitude of x by 2 is less than 1 then this is just a geometric series because k is going from 1 2 3 4 and so on right so if x modulus of x is less than 2 in that case we can use the formula of geometric series over here and if we use geometric series yeah right let me say that this sum goes from 0 to infinity so that it will be easier to evaluate the geometric series okay so now the first term will just be 1 x by 2 to the power 0 is just 1 and the ratio is x by 2 so this sum will be a a first term is 1 a by 1 minus r is x by 2 i guess you know the formula of geometric series 1 plus uh, let's say a plus a r plus a r square and let's go goes on this is just a by 1 minus r right so we are using this formula and to goes in the numerator so we have 2 by 2 minus x so this is the sum of geometric series over here now we have got the result in that sum from k equals to 0 to infinity of x to the power k by 2 to the power k this is uh, 2 by 2 minus x right now let us differentiate both sides with respect to x if we do that what do we get we get sum from k equals to 0 to infinity of k times x to the power k minus 1 divided by 2 to the power k this will just be uh, 2 by 2 minus x whole square right actually there are two negative ones so it's get cancelled so I didn't write them so we get this result now if we just substitute if we just if this be the equation i if we just substitute uh, x is equals to 1 we, we knew that modulus of x will be less than 2 right and of course x is x, x is equals to 1 satisfies so this so if we substitute x as 1 we get sum from k equals to 0 to infinity of k by 2 to the power k as 2 by 1 square which is just 2 and this is how we got our first result yeah. now for the second one again we want to get k square over here right if we just differentiate this expression we are going to get k times k minus 1 we will not get k square so what we can do is first of all multiply the both sides multiply both sides by x if we do this we get sum from k equals to 0 to infinity as k times x to the power k divided by 2 to the power k and on the other side on the left right hand side we have 2x by 2 minus x square right now again again let us differentiate this if we differentiate both sides with respect to x if we differentiate both sides with respect to x 
we get sum from k equals to 0 to infinity of k square x to the power k minus 1 divided by 2 to the power k is equals to now if we differentiate this one uh we need to use product rule right sorry quotient rule In the derivative of u by b if both are function of x u b, sorry b units minus u b dash by b square where dash represents derivative so we will have this is our b in u dash minus u and b dash will be 2 times 2 minus x times minus 1 divided by uh, b square to minus x to the power 4 right now this will be if I evaluate this we can take two we can cancel to minus x right okay, I can do that now 2 times 2 minus x minus minus and minus will be plus and then 2 tag 2x times 2 will just be 4x divided by 2 minus x to the power 3 okay so this is 4 minus 2x plus 4x so is equals to 4 plus 2x divided by 2 minus x whole cube right and now the thing that I need to do is just uh, substitute x as 1 if I substitute x as 1 now mm, yeah okay if I substitute let me do it over here itself if I substitute x as 1 in this expression I get sum from k equals to 0 to infinity of k square by 2 to the power k as 4 plus 2 into 1 divided by 2 minus 1 cube which is 6 by 1 which is 6 so yeah I have got the second value to 2 and 6 now for third value we just repeat the same kind of argument or process whatever so over here we again multiplied by x we again multiply by x there so this becomes sum from k equals to 0 to infinity k square x to the power k by 2 to the power k now over here also we multiply by x 4x plus 2x square by 2 minus x to the power 3 now you can differentiate and we get x cube x to the power k minus 1 so if you just differentiate over the uh, differentiate and substitute x as 1 you get the next sum uh, k cube by 2 to the power k as I have already done this the answer is uh, let me check how much what is the answer 26 and if you go, so go on, on the same way the sum from k equals to 0 I know it might be somehow tedious and longer but yeah it works fine k to the power 4 by 2 to the power k is 150 and there are also other ways to solve these sums yeah probably shorter than this one and if you have any of such ideas please let me know in the comment section this would also help other viewers to know more about such sums so hope you enjoyed this idea hope you enjoyed the solution yeah and hope you loved the way how Jacob Bernoulli solved them improved them okay so that was it uh, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too